and thanks for watching and today I would like to solve what I like to call a shifted differential equation namely find at least some functions f such that the derivative of f equals to the function but shifted to the left by pi over two units so it's not multiply but it's f of this and for this, let's just, as usual in differential equation, let's just try to guess some solutions and see if it works or not. So for instance, let's start with the typical guess, which are exponential functions. So um, guess one. So guess that f of x equals a times e to the bx and see what's going on. So the derivative of f is simply a b e to the e x. So e to the uh, b x, yeah. So a b e to the b x. On the other hand, the function shifted by pi over two units, that becomes a e to the b x plus pi over two. So First of all, of course, the zero function is a solution, so we want to ignore that one. And in particular, we may assume a is non-zero, so we can cancel out the a here. And then what we're left with is simply b e to the bx, m to the b, but e to the b, I guess. And that becomes e to the bx, e to the b pi over 2. And then we can cancel out the e to the bx, and we're left with b equals e to the b pi over 2. But it turns out there's no solution of this, at least in the real case, because if b equals e to the something, this means that b is positive. But now remember, we can show that e to the x is greater or equal to 1 plus x. So therefore, and again, this is valid, I believe, for every positive x, which works here. So e to the b pi over 2, that's greater than or equal to 1 plus b pi over 2. But that's strictly bigger than b pi over 2. But pi over 2 is bigger than 1, so this is strictly bigger than b. So this number, e to the b pi over 2, is strictly bigger than b. So there's no way they could be equal. And therefore, what we have is that in this case, there's no exponential solution, which is very sad, but we're strong ODE warriors will not give up. So next guess, well, let's just guess power functions. So guess f of x equals a x to the b and see what's going on so now the derivative is just a b x to the b minus one and on the other hand the function itself is a x plus pi over two to the b and as usual assume a is non-zero otherwise the function is zero and then we can do this, and moreover, here's a neat little trick if you'd like, divide both sides by x to the b, x to the b, then what this becomes, well the x to the b here cancels out, and you're left with b over x. And on the other hand here, you get x plus pi over 2 over x to the b. All right, however, what happens here? Here's a trick, let x go to infinity. And we'll find a contradiction. Because on the one hand, this goes to zero. So b over infinity is zero, no matter what b is. But this thing goes to one. So then one to a finite number is always one. So then we get 0 equals 1, which means that there's no solution of this form. And now you're like, oh my god, uh, uh, what should we do now? OK, I'm almost giving up, but why not? Let's just try out sine or cosine, just to see what's up. Um, let's try f of x. Again, how about cosine? 
Well then, what is the derivative f prime of x? That is minus sine of x. But wait a moment, there's no pi over 2, this doesn't look like cosine. Except just wait for a second, because this is actually the same thing as cosine of x times cosine of pi over 2 minus, because again this is 0, and then minus sine of x, sine of pi over 2. But by the SOM law for cosines, or I think it's sometimes called El Cashi's formula, kind of, oh no, but that's the law of cosines, but still, uh, I wanted to flex with El Cashi. And what we get is, this is the same thing as cosine of x plus pi over 2. Ding, 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 ding! We actually found this is the same thing as f of x plus pi over 2. Oh my god! So we found one solution, and which by the way, explains something interesting about cosine. You always thought that the derivative is minus sine, but this is actually the more clever way of doing it. If you differentiate cosine, it's the same thing as shifting it to the left by pi over 2. And in fact, since this was so fun, let's also try it with sine. Well, let's try f of x equals sine of x. Well, f prime, that's cosine of x. But notice that is the same thing as a sine of x cosine of pi over 2 plus cosine of x and then um, sine of pi over 2. Because this is 1, this is 0, and then by the sum law for sines, that is sine of x plus pi over 2. So at least we could say that in this case the solutions or a, a couple of solutions are just linear combinations of sines and cosines. So in other words, what we can say so far is simply f of x is a cosine of x plus b sine of x. Which by the way is absolutely freaky because we have a first order differential equation but with two linearly independent solutions meaning that you know our existence uniqueness theorem for ODEs doesn't necessarily apply here um, but of course there are many open questions which I don't know the answer to uh, are there other solutions could there be other cosine sine solutions like that? And also, of course, with pi over 2, you can just guess sine and cosine. But here's a question I wasn't able to solve. What about f prime of x equals f of x plus 1? What if you replace pi over 2 by 1? Then at least this cosine sine trick for me didn't work. But maybe I'll leave it up to you in the comments to figure out how to solve this. Again, I tried this for two days, but I couldn't come up with this. But still, I think this is really cool. And if you like this and want to see more math, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.